Mm, all right, there we go. Yeah. Hello, guys. Habari uh, zenu? How are you all? Again, it's Tabs, and welcome to Tabs Hope Hub Channel. And Nimawa uh, Miss, by the way, I've been off for like two weeks now, two Sundays. I haven't come live, but yeah, here I am today with our guest again, Mualimu. I had promised you guys I will bring him again. And here he is. Um, and uh, today he suggested we talk about the difference between America and Kenya. And I want to put a disclaimer out there. Whatever I'm going to talk about America, it may not work for you. So please don't come for me. And whatever we're going to mention about Kenya, please also, you know, what works for me may not work for you. So... Please, um, I am just putting a disclaimer there. If whatever I'm going to say ab um, about America is not going to make you happy, please understand, because maybe that one thing could make could be making me happy. We are all different, and we live a different life. Uh, what makes me happy could be making you angry, or may, whatever works for me may not work for you. Again, we have people who came here, and they retired back home because America never worked for them. We also have people who retired back home and then they felt like, no, Kenya is not working for me and they came back to America. So, kila mtu na mahali pake. We cannot all fit in the same, same, same thing. So, whatever I'm going to talk about here, things about America, those are the things that make me tabi that I personally happy. Anything else, please? Msiniru siya mawe. So, today... Like I have said, we're going to talk the difference between Kenya and America. And because I think I should have made you the moderator because the other one who requested me, we talk about this. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're doing this on our YouTube. And um, before we go further, I will let you introduce yourself. Please, Karibu. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm Walimu Hilary Chepkerio. That is my name. Okay. As I've said, that is my profession, the teaching profession. I'm also somebody who does some little business all, all around. I'm born and raised in Kenya. That is where I was raised. Now, Kenya is our thing. We'll do our mm -hmm. Kenyan thing. Mm -hmm. But we today we're going to do some things about Kenya, which we are about to say. It's really disgusting. Some are good. Some are disgusting. Yes. Which true. we will compare the life outside there in US and in Kenya. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm a limo, by the way, I'm a funga sule, right? Are you, guys doing... <laughs> so what, are you doing tuition, coaching? Maybe you may talk to a parent right out there and tell them okay. where you are. In right, case right, now, <laughs> yeah, right, right now, it's, <laughs> right now it's all about, uh, you know, when after all that tough time in school, mm -hmm. you have a bit to relax at times. It's mm -hmm. not about all the time working, working, working. You have some time to relax yourself. Mm -hmm. Feel some free, we're too free sometimes. Okay. But right now, I'm doing some counseling, the, mm -hmm. especially the coaching. There's some individual coaching. Mm -hmm. There are some parents who approach you. They say that they, they, my kid has been undergoing some problems, especially on drugs, such as such things. Okay. So there is even some depression uh, sessions which I always carry out. But uh, Tabs, there's something I want you, you to agree with me. Mm -hmm. Here in Kenya, if you are a counselor, you're not valued so much. Especially when you call for a show, like if I call for a show here in Eldoret, mm -hmm. a few people will show up for that show, or the tickets will not sell. So, mm -hmm. like people don't see it is this thing is so important. Mm -hmm. What they see is this person is want to take our money. I, another thing, what I'm working on, I'm working on a book. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're reading on, a book right now. Yeah, I'm working on a book. It's okay. about to go. It's about to go down. Oh, yeah. great! Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, we we are waiting. We will buy the book. But it will be very important. It is it is an it is a motivation book. It is mm -hmm. quite. It's something to do with mostly transforming someone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Once you launch it, don't forget to put it on Amazon. So those Amazon, people yeah. well, uh, in abroad, they will be able to access it easily. Especially for you people, you, especially you and your husband and other people who are there. 
Yeah, yeah of those people when you work on diaspora, what I was able to access easily. We access easily, on yeah. Amazon, yeah. And yeah. congratulations for that. It's a, it's a yeah. good thing. So Thank to you. tell you, Tabu, Tuna Somanga, I have Kata here. I have one from Wangari Madai. Hey, Wangari and, Madai. It is, yeah, Wangari Madai, the best book I have ever read. I have another one from Robert Burari. I have a few from... Um, from our own Kenyans. I have another one from Anjusiko. I have yeah. another one from Irungu Booth. I have a couple mm -hmm. books right here. And, and also from Zipora, yeah, Elkana Zipora. Elkana Zipora, yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I have a couple from our own Kenyans. And they are... they know, yeah, there was, mm -hmm. there's an in law we must talk about. Have you ever read about this uh, former first lady of the US becoming by Michelle Obama? No, but I have a book uh, from Obama himself. Yeah. I I am caught away. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Away. yeah I'm st I still have a long way to go, but I have his book right here, under this table right here. Yeah. 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 Then there is one which I, I'm trying, I'll buy it, especially, especially in education, I don't know it is for, okay. uh, for Biden. That book, uh, it, it says, Promise Me that. Oh, I, I see just saw my Biden here. Hey, Nikali. Niliambiwa Nikali na Bishtang, so I will go for it. Okay. Yeah. I, will, I will look out for it. Now, Mwalimu? Yes. Uh -huh. Because you are the one who brought this discussion on the table, I think I will rely on you to ask me questions. Yeah. Because I think you and maybe other Kenyans are the one who really want to know more about Americans, yeah. I mean, American life or America at large. And mm -hmm. uh, I think I will rely more on mm -hmm. on the questions that you are going to yeah. ask me, depending on what you want to know. Yeah. I think that is that is okay. If that, you is, don't... that is it. That is how it will right? Yeah, okay, like guys, like we have said, we're going to talk uh, about what makes America different mm -hmm. from Kenya. So, Marimu Hilali, well, let me handle it over to you. Let me make it your, uh, let me make you a, a moderator. Because yeah. I, well, I think that will be the, the easiest <laughs> way for me to yeah, sure. be able to know what you really want to know about America. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, if I may ask this one. Mm -hmm. I think going to America is something that people think it is easy first, mm -hmm. but you don't know where you'll go and settle in America. Mm -hmm. Like uh, residential, how much do you pay for, like, uh, let's say, a two or a two or one bedroom house? Like, because in Kenya here, yeah, mm -hmm. for you to have a good one bed sitter, a bed sitter for the Americans is you have. You have a bed. You are you are you are using. You are seeing your whole properties in one room. You have a toilet inside. You've got a bed inside. Your seat inside. Everything. Mm -hmm. So for that in Kenya, it goes around to between five. Okay, that is around fifty dollars to seventy dollars. That is fifty thousand Kenya shillings. Five thousand Kenya shillings to seven thousand Kenya shillings. But uh, for you to have a good bed, uh, one bedroom, it goes for around eighty dollars. That is eight thousand Kenyan shillings. No, I now I don't know about US. Um, first of all, I'd like to say here, rent is very, very expensive. Hmm. I think rent and healthcare, hmm. those are the most expensive things in America, and that's why you find people living with roommates, so at least you'll be able to save up some money. That's some money yeah, because let's say if I have a two-bedroom house, mm -hmm. apartment, and uh, let's say I am single, I can, could decide to to rent my other bedroom to someone mm -hmm. that yeah. would save me, like, let's say, 50000 or 60000 or seven seven uh, 50000 60000 or 70000 depending on where mm -hmm. you are living. Because also, mm -hmm. U.S., it's like Kenya, in a way, because, mm -hmm. you know, we have those... Um, it means superb, like uh, estate where by places like Lunda, Karen, yeah, Karen. Tong. So we also here we have states that are really, really expensive. So yeah. depending on what state you, you are living in, mm. uh, that's determined amount of rent that you are mm. paying. Yeah. So we, I would say rent is uh, one of the things that are very expensive in America. Yeah. Yeah. 
compared about... to Kenya, it's, oh, it's Kenya, it's nothing. <laughs> Kenya, it's nothing. But again, I won't say it's nothing because uh, economically, you know, the, we cannot compare the American yeah. economy and Kenya economy. Here people are paid way better than what people are, are yeah. earning home. Because initially, yeah. then here, you, there is no way you are going to get a house worth 50 bucks. Like you have said back home, <laughs> that one you can yeah. get a bed seat, right? But now, ah, yeah. how much are you making for you to pay? that if that five thousand yeah, yeah. so that that's the difference here yeah, sure. here people get paid more plus people mm -hmm. here work we get paid by hourly hours hourly so mm -hmm. that means you could get what i am making in a day someone else back home is making it within a whole month a whole month yeah like uh my career now you make a forty thousand you make 400 bucks at around uh, the all of two, the, the 30 days you go to school. Yeah, so uh, let's say relatively if someone is making 40,000 back home. Mm -hmm. uh, Not 40,000, mm -hmm. four, it is 4,400 back. That is 40, 400 USD. Yeah, that is four, 400 US dollar, right? Yeah. That means there is someone here who is making that money within um, two days, three days. Mm -hmm. Or... We have people who are who we are people who are making a hundred k in a day. A day. Yeah, or, or even more. I don't want to mention, but yeah, yeah it's it's a it's a relative. Well, so, well, that is a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, it's kuna different peer who kuna tu wako hapa na kuna watu wako wako ju. But all the same, I cannot say the gap between poor people in America and back home is the same. Here at mm -hmm. least, America try to put us equal somehow. Even if we have people who are up there, mm -hmm. even those who are down here, at least they, they can survive. You know what I mean? Because yeah. back home, the difference between a common one and that person who is rich, the gap is so huge, so mm -hmm. huge. Yeah, so. And that comes to my question, next question, which, which is, mm -hmm. do we have poor people in America? Because... In Kenya, we are capitalists the same way America is. We have we are all capitalists, right? Yeah. Do you have, do, have, do you really find a poor person in the street in the US? Yeah, we actually we even have homeless people. Uh, yeah. But like I, like I said, I may talk about it, and some people may feel like I'm rubbing other people's shoulder. But yeah, yeah we do have a. Uh, we do have homeless people, but also, and uh, as a becoming a homeless uh, in America, it's really easy, especially yeah. like, let's say you get sick and you're not able to, to pay your, your bills, and yeah. uh, maybe you have no like, support, si support system. Yeah. Uh, but all the same, I would say, like, uh, if you know people and you know, like, um, it, uh, I would say, like, le let me put it this way. Yeah. In America, like, um, they have rules. In America, yeah. life is good, I would say so. For me, life in Missouri sana. But again, if you stay according to American rules and rules, yeah. but yeah. you decide to bend them, that can, can make you, you know, can make oh, you change, like, with, within a blink of an eye. Because let's yeah. say I was driving, I was drunk, and then, you know, nipatane na police, you know, here we, we don't have something like kungana. There is no way you corrupting a police officer to give them. So initially what they do, they take your driver's license away. And yeah. our driver's license, it works yeah. as an, our ID. So ID, that yeah. once my driver's license is pulled, mm. I am going to lose my job. And when I lose sure. a job, oh, yes, nobody is yeah. going to. I am if I have a DUI or my, my driver's license have been pulled and job I don't have a driver's yeah. license, I cannot drive my car. And we use our driver. When I apply for a job or when you apply for a job, you go for that interview, the first thing they're going to ask you for is your driver's license. You don't yeah. have it. So that means you're not going to get that job. So that yeah. is one factor that can make someone, you know, become homeless because you have lost a job. Maybe you have no family or... Um, also, when you go to jail, yeah. before you clean that mess, it's like you have put something here. <laughs> like you have put something on your forehead. A mark. 
Because you know here they, they do these things we call e verify. They run your background check. Mm. So when you, you, you come out, actually there are people who when they get out of that jail, when they get released, they get out and their life is so hard. They want to commute another crime and go back to jail because now they feel like it is better or I would rather be in jail because now life is so hard for me. They can't get a job. Let's say yeah. you were found with a, a case like, like say, assault. You assaulted someone yeah. with drugs. Me, yeah. Whatever crime you look like, you jail. Yani be, before you clear your name from mm. the system, yeah. you, you're going to struggle. It could be tough. It could be tough. And let's say yeah. if it is something like a drug. Now, who will ever hire you if you do drugs? No. Nobody. So Nobody. you automatically become a homeless. So that is where the, now the poverty come in in this country. Now, that one, that one is it's so hard to live with the laws. Now, the laws are so different, yeah? Yeah, very different. Actually, yeah. uh, it's, they're not actually different. What mm. we do, it's because back home you get away with anything as long mm -hmm. as you have money. Now yeah. here it's, it's, the, it's the, 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 the other way. The other way around. Yeah. If 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 uh, then the, I have said this before. If you will ever make it to come to America, if you oh. commit any crime, let's say you drive in, you pass by the stop sign, you didn't stop, or maybe the traffic light. If a cop happened to stop you, never ever dare give them something, or never dare try to tell yeah. them I'm gonna give you this, my oh. friend. You tajipata kwa gazeti utanikoa, you know. It's a whole case. Yeah, and actually now they're gonna concentrate on that part of you trying to bribe. Because they don't know it, they don't know that language, you know. So those are the things that can easily put us as immigrants in trouble. Because back home, you know, I'll give him 50 I'm going here, yeah. you cannot do that. Even when, when it's to come to work, go do your job, go home. Yeah. Don't try to burn rule, don't try to steal because we are also have jobs that involves money. In America, you'll be jailed if they lose a penny or a yeah. 50 cent or, or, or even a dollar, just a dollar. A dollar is a hundred bucks. That one could put you in jail in America. Yeah. So in case you're dealing with money, you have to be very, very, you know, accurate and you know, in present your integrity, otherwise, <laughs> so like uh, now, this one come in, and uh, I agree with you that the system in the US and Kenya are so different, very different. They are, yeah, the, the laws are the same, but we don't follow the same the laws here in Kenya. Back home, the corruption has messed everything, I would say so. Everything, yeah, have, have, then, yeah. Because I will, uh, in Kenya, I'm, I'm sorry, I, you can kill someone, get away with it. We have seen so many people. We have seen so many of them, and they are working free. They are working free. <laughs> they are but even standing in a public rally and say something. And it, it is really sad. And I, I'm sorry yeah. to say, those I, I am from Kenya. I'm a Kenyan. I love Kenya. I love the weather. I love my family. I love food. But when it's come to injustice that, that goes on in Kenya, that makes me hate my country. And I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. not sorry, yeah, but I, I really mm -hmm. hate knowing I have families that are not so able to bail yeah. themselves out. Knowing someone can just create a story against you simply mm -hmm. because maybe you did not want to do something they wanted you to do and you spend the rest of your life in jail. Yeah. Those are the things that I don't like. And again, when you go to our jail, who are there? The poor people. The poor people. Before they commit crime, they are afraid they are, they are working. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, another thing is, mm -hmm. I was reading some, not reading actually, I was watching some uh, YouTube channels and they, there's a guy who said in the US, mm -hmm. it is easy for you to make it in life, especially when you go to the streets and work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like uh, these manual jobs, which in Kenya you degrade them, like uh, working in the Django. Mm -hmm. Going okay, being a uh, truck driver. Yeah. yeah. Okay, these small, these small, small jobs where in Kenya it really pays little money. Even the cab, working as a cab tri cab driver, it pays yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, it happens like wazungu sana sana hawapenzi kazi chafu. So initially, 
Okay. They will get these jobs that we hate so much back home. They are yeah. the ones that so pay so well here in Kenya. I, I keep yeah. saying this. I had a friend in Seattle who used to do this construction job. And back mm. then, and I'm talking about five years ago, he used to make $30 an hour. $30, yeah. $30 $3,000 an hour. 3, yeah. Imagine how much he's going to make at the end of the day. And yeah. you, of course, there is overtime. And also, Mjengo, it's not as hard as we do it back home. Back home, yeah. you will see people putting those rocks. You know, here, mm -hmm. like, to, like, I would say, like, most of the things, the machinery, like, when they have those machineries to, yeah. or the equipment to do this job and to make jobs easier. Yeah. Also, like, something like uh, Kazi Zatakataka, if you come here, Mwalimu, you could have a job at Takataka, you may be like, no way. Or if you tell someone, I'm a kazi ya to correct garbage. And this garbage, garbage yeah. corrector, they just sit down in their truck, very nice and clean truck. They don't even get out to pick anything. This yeah. truck, they are made in a way, like, it has these things like majembe, inatukua, inatimuagilia, inatimuagilia, inatimuagilia. So he, he has, there is nowhere, you know, and as you can see, Yeah. Yeah, I'm a truck. I'm a end. Yeah, and it's Yeah, work for gear, they sit in a truck, the truck clean, vacuum the road. and But when you tell someone back home, they will be like, <laughs> you, you, you left Kenya to do the same job. So yeah. you, they may sound dirty, yeah. but at yeah. the same Time they will make you good money yeah like because the, even truck tra driving trucks those people yeah. make good money good money yeah i was <laughs> reading <laughs> i must say this because i think this this comment made my day especially i think it was last saturday mm -hmm. and then there's a comment from a lady who comes from the u.s mm -hmm. uh, i think she's a lower lady She's a little lady in Kenya, but she's in US. Mm -hmm. And then there's a guy from Eldoret. I think she's she comes from our tribe. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so this lady posted something, and then the guy commented that end our share, end our share. I don't know, end our share Chihuahua Mzungu. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was like a net speech, but the reply, the comeback from this woman. Ilikuwa very strong. Yani so <laughs> she told she told she told the guy that if you think that everybody, if your relative who are in the US only does kwenda kuwashia or chihuahua watu uko, you're very wrong. So people yeah. in the US have yeah. a lot of money. I always yeah. say this, even if I'm being hired to clean a dog and I'm making good money and I'm comfortable with it, no, yeah. and uh, I am comfortable with it, then what is the problem? Don't what is the problem? We have, we have, when I go home, my mom has a dog. Do we clean yeah. up that dog? Absolutely, yes. Do I get paid for it? No. <laughs> I don't get paid for it. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> Also, I have I have come across so many people insulting those people who are abroad. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Um, nafanya kazi, you do have to change what diapers you doing this job of cleaning other people. Um, I wanna make this clear. Like even our nurses back home, I don't know why people in Kenya find it like a uh, bad thing for mm. nurses in America, like taking care of the patient or even yeah. caregivers or the nannies, yet we have the same people back home. Do we have yeah. nurses? We do them. There is mm. no way a nurse will, a nurse in Kenya will come, they will change your diapers, they will give you a bath, they will feed you. Yeah. The same case nurses are doing here in America. In America. The only difference is the nurses back home have been paid very little money, I will yeah. say. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they go for month without being paid. And I will ask you this, Mwalimu, have you ever seen any American nurse on the street demonstrating because they have not been paid? Nothing. No. Have no. you ever seen doctors? Well, have you have seen doctors in Kenya going for month? And especially yeah. even like when COVID came, like doctors were still going for months without payment. Not getting paid. Well, last year, well, yeah. last year in America, now that is where the different come in. Back in Kenya, when COVID came, nurses and doctors were going for months without getting their salary. Their salary yeah. yeah. Doctors were given more. 
no mm. doctors and nurses were given raise were being paid even more mm. as we speak right now we have like nurses are making a hundred dollars an hour that is 10k an hour a hundred dollars Wow. Yeah, an hour and even more, mm-hmm. and even that caregiver like we una kapa unam tu unam tu kana we una have those care, those yeah. traveling caregivers right now they making eighty dollars an hour just as eighty that is eighty k an hour so you are right. there trying to be a keyboard warrior una tu kana watu wenye wako busy kutengeneza pesa ya and I always say this imagine yeah. you are there. Sitting in someone a one bedroom house a bed sitter. Unanitukana Facebook. Unanitukana Facebook. Sizu ni ni ena. Wanda uchange wa tu diaper and most likely nyumba yenye unanitukani ni yangu. Uyu pain me. That one thing people don't understand. Yeah, you calling people names, people who are outside Kenya, whereas maybe pain when you unari parent. Mm. without knowing yeah. because you just you don't know who the owner is no, Most like, wanda, yeah. wanda <laughs> the owner of that house is in the us you yeah. pay in her and we, they are insulting her instead mm. in, instead of working hard and have what they having so i think yeah. there's so many things uh, i see like the different between yeah. here and back home like let's even talk about security, security um, yeah. one thing i love about this country and okay. um because i know for sure like package will just be dropped by my door and my yeah. husband is not even home we will come back and we'll find our package right there it was dropped and we bring it in and uh let's say if i'm traveling back home i don't have a garage i leave my car right here even if i stay in kenya for three months I will come mm. back and my car will be right there. Nobody will even touch it. We don't put we don't put fence, we don't put hedges, we don't put gates. Yeah. You just buy a house and that is a you will fence it yeah. if you want. And even if you put in that fence, it's for decoration. It yeah. does not mean it, it's not for security purpose. Yeah. It's for decoration. And that's give me that that sense of uh, you know, feeling that I am safe. Mm-hmm. And now if I tell you the difference when I come home <laughs> when it is 7 p.m. mumwekelea food kwa meza the first thing is gate zimefungwa. Kwenda kufunga gate ya samba na gate nyingine na kufunga. You don't know. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately like even before covid came my mom mm-hmm. and my house help they used to uh, my mom and her nanny they yeah. used to interchange. Mama kienda church is Sunday. The next Sunday ni nani because we are we started experiencing breaking kwa kwa mom like hey. wakienda church kuna julikana hakuna mtu mnakuja mnapata umbieta imeenda speaker imeenda i don't know what imeenda tv imeenda so now those are the things that ngumu sana kuzisikia so security wise hmm. iko poa uh, i don't want to walk somewhere me I will just walk with my phone without any fear somebody will snatch it or steal it Back home, Niliona, you have to hold your hand back because most likely it end up. <laughs> Especially for the ladies. Mm-hmm, for the ladies. Even like when you're walking on the street with your phone, you have to be very careful which very street careful. is that. Simu, it end up. So those are the things that we don't deal with here. Yeah. And those are the things that for me personally, I love about this country. Yeah, um, sure. I, let's talk about education. Education now, yeah. Yeah, education here is like a uh, free from kindergarten to uh, from four. We call it twelve. Yeah, here it's free, free of zero charge. Shillings. Zero. Mhm. Zero shillings. Zero. When you are an American citizen or you are, yeah, with whatever you are, it's zero. Even if you are a Zimbabwean, even even if Kenya. you're in, an immigrant, as long as you're in this country. Na uko tu na hizo tu document utapeleka mtoto shule ya. Haya. Tu high school and then university? Na un- college and university you pay for yourself. Mm-hmm. But uh, the good thing with it like unaweza soma na loan and then after job uendelee mm-hmm. kulipa. And those are the things that most likely hata kama sikuzi na sikianga kuna help. But how about yeah. those, those uh, private colleges back home do they have help? No, they don't no. have. 
no. they don't have. So no. now that is what makes again a different here. Here you you we will go to school, yes. Mm. Talipa polo pole ama after school utalipa yeah. NPA, I think Niliana Biden will forgive student when you are looking alone, if I'm not wrong. So are you sure? Yeah. So they do that for us in Kenya. <laughs> No, it's happened. And actually, I also forget to mention one thing. You see, like, now when we talk, like, Kenyan and American economy, mm. uh, back home people, so many people lost their jobs when COVID yeah. hit. Yeah. And uh, back here, we were getting the relief fund, the stimulus from the government. We were getting a certain amount of money from mm. the government. Yeah. And uh, also, we found, like... Um, the essential workers, Saralea Uliongezwa, you know, because the company yeah. were trying to hold them and keep them home. And don't yeah, forget sure. those at uh, that time people, so many people were home, millions of America were home. They yeah. lost their job, but they were getting unemployment. We have never had something like unemployment in Kenya. When you lose your job, you lose your job. That's you it. Lose your job. Yeah. yeah. If right now, let's say my company decide to fire me, I I I may call and say, hey, I got fired, they will just confirm with my company where they fired me. And they will be giving me a certain amount of money until I get another job. At least, hey. if, if of course, that money will be no, will not be enough hmm. compared to what I make when I work. But at yeah. least, now, now, you cannot sleep hungry. You have something. Yeah, sure. And also, maybe if you have your own apartment, you can move and start living with a, with a roommate, knowing you have something small to pay. So those are the things. And then we have things like a food bank, you know, yeah. whereby I can go and be given food for free, and in the home, and pick it. We have uh, houses for low income. Let's say if I'm a single mom, I have kids. It is a I mean, it is a long process, but yeah, definitely you're gonna get that house whereby you've been considered as a low income and you're gonna be paying less money. And in Nyambasupu, you've been given a two-bedroom house. Oh yeah, a two-bedroom house. So those are the things we don't get back home. Yeah. Next mm -hmm. next question is. Mm -hmm. How much will it cost you, like, say, you want to hang out in the America, like, let's say, on a, Saturday, on a Sunday when you are off from your work, let's say you want to hang out for a whole day with your mm -hmm. family, like, let's say, the, 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 the expense, like, drinks, food, and everything, how much will it cost? Um, I would say to depend on where you are going. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, is let's it, do this. Is that, yeah. The expensive, mm -hmm. moderate, and the low. I would say, like, let's say if you go to fast food, fast yeah. food, like Kentik, back home, Makina Kentik, Burger King. Yeah. Uh, let's say, when I depend on Kwanga, let's say you may you may spend like 50 bucks. Yeah. Five, that is, is 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. And also, mm. uh, like I have said, this one depends. When you go to five star hotel, definitely, yeah. price it a quarter of a So let's say, so I let's say be, go yeah. for a nice, hotel let's say I take my husband out for dinner mm -hmm. uh depending on where it may cost us. let me talk about of the recent one mm -hmm. we spend around uh 300 dollars that is 30k 30k mm -hmm. but that looks as a bit cheap cheap because here in kenya mm -hmm. there are there are those of us who will spend around at okay ten dollars that is a thousand bob for all, for all of us, let's say if I go with my girlfriend or if I go with my mom and dad, we'll spend around 2,000 Kenya shillings. That is $20. But uh, there are these people in Kenya who spend a drink up to 147000 Have you seen something on this? Yeah, if you go to Akina, Kepinski. Yeah, and Akina. Um, but also they are relatively fair because... Hmm. I have been to a couple of five star hotels apart from Villa Losa and Yanananga, Bayaiko, exactly. Oleseleni. No, Oleseleni yeah. is affordable. It's I, affordable, yeah, yeah. Very affordable, actually. I, I stayed there on my last vacation for a couple of days and it was very affordable. affordable. Very, I couldn't believe. We I, were paying for $100, $180 a night. A night. Mm -hmm. And that, that is, is, of course, uh, million. Dinner and breakfast included. So that was really cheap. There is this Italian hotel called Trattoria. Have you mm -hmm. ever seen it? Trattoria, yeah. Trattoria. It's mm -hmm. very expensive. 
Yeah, it's owned by Italians. Italians, yeah. yeah. I went there some days and I, when you check, let's say, a coffee, a coffee will cost around $25. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, I, I, I realized uh, this time, uh, last time when I was in Kenya, I did not go to Java, but the previous time I went to Java, and I, I realized that they were a little high when it's come to just yeah. breakfast. Breakfast uh, uh, per person, it mm. was 2500 Yeah, that is $25. Yeah, that is $25. Breakfast, yeah, that's that's a little ex expensive in Kenya. That is. In, but if yeah. you go to this moderate. Yeah, but yeah. PR, yeah. See. When I moderate, Kidogo, you will get with a good price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to a good price. And uh, also, then, let's, let's talk about like some things like uh, healthcare. Like okay, healthcare yeah. in America, definitely they are different from what we, we have back home. And mm -hmm. uh, I will say again, I think corruption is the one that has made Kenya be where it is today. And we yeah. just, when hopefully God will give us good readers that will put Kenya where it is supposed to be. Because mm -hmm. honestly, yes. where Kenya is, it is not where it is yeah to be yeah. at all uh talking of healthcare i would say this uh this is the in the country whereby i don't have to worry in case in kipata kitu ntatumwa india you know ntatumwa uk because they, they have everything you know yeah. like the hospitals are well equipped even yeah. though they are expensive but at yeah. least they are well equipped and uh, yeah. also i would like to say in case you are here and you don't have papers and maybe you're worried of going to the hospital um and ama unaweza kuwa bado kuna makaratasi na una healthcare when you go to that hospital and tell them you're going to pay uh hawatakosa kukuchukua by the way they will treat you and they will send you that bill after a month and then they will call you and they will ask you how do you want to pay this bill you know that you're going to you, you will negotiate with them and tell them, you know what, I can afford $20 a month. They will let you yeah. be. Like, as long as you commit yourself to it, that's it. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, and uh, now that is the difference between here and home. Well, as back oh. home, need to be treated, I have to put a certain percentage. And especially this, this private hospitals, I have had um, cases with our mom, whereby mm -hmm. sometimes they have to put 50000 down. Do you have to cool away? India yeah. want to meet, and uh, yeah, we have had crazy bills before. So those are those are the different. And uh, also mm -hmm. here in America, we don't have uh, things like private hospitals. You know, there's no private hospital. We don't have private hospitals, so there is no competition. And I think mm -hmm. that is what we need in Kenya, whereby if you have your own governor. He will have to make sure, let's say Nakuru governor, will have yeah. to make sure PGH and then Nakuru government hospital, they are well re equipped. Because yeah. when he gets sick, he will go to the same hospital. He has nowhere yeah. to run to. Unlike yeah. in Kenya, whereby they know if I get sick, I'm fly. Kobe hospital, Aga Khan hospital, and Pisa hospital, and then a common monarchy end up, you know, suffering. Now, those are the things we don't experience here. I mean, like we are we are being put equally. 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 And then I don't have uh, to worry, like, I will go to the hospital and being told there is no doctor. Those are the things that don't happen here. Before a doctor leaves the floor, there has to be another one on the floor. Same case with nurses. There is no way I'm going to leave my job without another one in that, you know, in that spot that I was working. So those are the things that makes difference between America and Kenya. Yeah. You know, back home we have here, like, if you most likely, God forbid, I'm going to get cancer, you know, you have to send these people to India. Now, yeah. those are the things we, we don't experience here. You know, once you go to the hospital, you will be treated. It's not going to be, oh, and the UK, and the yeah. India. And the India. A doctor with, I don't know, machines are broken. I've never had those cases. But in Kenya, in most cases, you go to Nakuru, PGH, to know you have to go to Nairobi because this and this machine is broken. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. a certain doctor is on leave and we don't anyone on the ground. I adore it. So those are the things that don't happen here. Those are the things that we miss back home. Yeah. The, the most useless thing about Kenya, I, I will say it is useless because how can you expect me to pay you when you've not treated this person first? That is one question I've always asked doctors. 
na ujamtibu mtu tibu ya kwanza we talk that, about it that the yeah. thing and i i i feel sorry i really feel mm. sorry even the things that happen in our own healthcare like when when a mother come to give birth and then they go home empty handed not because the baby died but because the baby was stolen and get yeah. so to someone those are the things that i would never want to deal with because it, it's so yeah. inhuman and now you can see where corruption has put us you know the person that is doing that like maybe a midwife helping a woman a mother to give birth mm. and at the end of the day no i'm gonna tell her she lost the baby and sell this baby you know <laughs> those people they even have that card is knowing it's a lot of money even if i get caught i will share this money with the cops and i will yeah. be fine. but those are the things i have never had in america like a baby getting lost like how how i mean how? a mother gave birth and then she been lied like your baby you died even been given a boy and you give birth to a girl those things happen in kenya <laughs> it's happening in kenya now another question that i will ask Mm-hmm. what is the most likely business to start in the us when you get to the us mm-hmm. a business that somebody could start for a startup uh for a startup uh, i will talk about the things that i've seen kenyans doing mm-hmm. um tracking job we have a lot of kenya owning tracking businesses and yeah. also you can if you are a hairdresser you come here you can start a salon job easily and that's one mm-hmm. will make you a lot of money good money by the way mm-hmm. when you are a salonist in america you don't need to look for any other job you will be making sure. good yeah. money yes mm-hmm. and uh, also like if you love cooking too and those are yeah. the jobs you can do in your own house make chapati send them to kenyans you know we don't have time and yeah. uh, let's say if for those people who like they have family so on your day off you have kids mm-hmm. to take care of you have laundry to do and all that so initially you will find so many people asking our fellow kenyans to make chapati for us mokimo pilau and those so in case you go yeah. back home you can come and I saw one woman being interviewed by KDM and she said she own mm. multi millions properties in Kenya and she only makes chapati in this country. Yeah. She has her own flats. Those, that's why I was saying you could be Kenya unatukana mtu ajua kwa America wewe unadhania kazi yenye nafanya na sasa hizo unakaa kwa apartment here. Yeah. There's, there's even one motora doing motora it is I saw a guy being interviewed it pays a lot. Uh, uh in america i haven't seen that no, no there is somebody who sells to kenyans who sell to kenyan could yeah. be i would i would not dispute that yeah, i haven't yeah. seen it and i haven't heard of it but i i would i will not dispute it because we also have kenyans dealing summer when yeah. panda mandizi and we <laughs> uh, not mandizi sorry corn mahindi 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 yeah and then the corn that they they wana panda huku yeah, use them for for horses yeah. and cows oh. yeah but for us because that is what we grow up eating you know we buy them una pata nimeenda nime buy bag ya 70 dollars that is 7k so come na shamba mzima how much are you are you going to get from it we have people planting saga managu terere and they sell it a small Maybe. people Yeah, a small paper bag you buy for like uto to super to paper to super you buy for 30 bucks that is 7 ah that is 30000 ah 30 no 3k 3k so and if you want more definitely you can buy some worth 100 yeah. dollars that is 10k you come you buy them so you you can it depend with who you are and what you want to do what you want to do Yeah, I think starting a dairy farming or a beef farming it's okay. Yeah, you, you can. I would say you can. Yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing is impossible, yeah. You can. Yeah, because I always yeah. see the Americans they like so much. I always like watching movies. So, mm-hmm. when you see it, they like uh, going to the reserve areas. They keep their cows, beef animals so that they can be selling them. So it is a business to them. So, I yeah. always like that, yeah. Then there is, uh, I think there is one question which I always ask, want to ask uh, someone who is in the East Coast. Mm-hmm. How do you people like, uh, especially when it comes to the lifestyle there, the lifestyle itself, live alone, the health, everything. Mm-hmm. Like how much will you spend in a day? Because here in Kenya, 
today nowadays you won't spend you will spend around two and two dollars per day if you are uh, say you are with your own spouse and your own kid that will be at two dollars per day yeah. because here in kenya we will, there are people who live below the poverty line which is one dollar so i don't know about the us how will you people survive um well i have never thought of that but uh, <laughs> let's say i think i will talk about like uh, 50 dollars a day $50. yeah per day. per day but now you see that there the different is economy like kuku pesa yuko and like back home you know you 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 working with what you have you know what i mean yeah. back home yeah. you working with that 100 bob because maybe you went for kibarua and you made 200 you okay. have kids mwenye anataka kitabu the other one won't pay yeah. and you need milk you need bread you no so yeah. i think that when to come to like you, the economy was cuz american economy ran for 24 hours and like um, whereby it's not it, it, yeah. it's not that like, kama huku unapatanga job kila mtu job in, 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 in 24 hours cycle mm. but back home unapata kama job umeenda factory asubuhi unafunga 6 does it and here places like warehouse they work yeah. 24 hours so that uh, yeah I, I think that there's, I, I will say this, there's a candidate I, uh, for the Kenya now, mm-hmm. presidential candidate. I think you know him, Kideon Moy. Yeah. Yeah, so he was advocating that Kenyans should have a 24-hour economy, whereby we love bars opening for t- the 24 hours from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. tomorrow. But why bars? Why not any other thing else? No, not that. Even yeah, the but... warehouse also. Mm-hmm. These adwares, also these uh, any anywhere, even the food stores, food uh, eateries, the eateries, mm-hmm. majorly, they go to open the twenty four hours. So yeah. even the transport like, center, like eateries, like here you you find uh, like um, fast food. Some of them goes for twenty four hours, but some hours. Things, some things like bar here they actually they even open less hours. That we, I think the last call usually it's one a.m. or 2 p.m. or something like that. But you know, back home here, people drink. You know? <laughs> I think that is one thing we will need to talk maybe next time, because here you will find yeah. someone taking one beer, holding mm-hmm. that same bottle for like an hour or two. Well, as That's back home, when you have to, to sit down in a bar <laughs> and act like the whole table is colored. <laughs> yeah, sure. Go home until you finish. Big so, now th- that is one thing also have put some a few Kenyans or immigrant in a trouble because mm-hmm. when you go to party you forgetting you're not in Kenya. Yeah. So once you get caught your driver's license is gone. So now I mean, that, that 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 now makes the difference. You know because yeah. has also been able to contain some people. I know if I want to drink you sit in your house and drink and drink and you know you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Otherwise, if you go drink and drive, then and, you see and, and, yeah. you see and I think you should tell Kenyans also because you the other time you told me when we were off air that mm-hmm. in the US when you cause chaos, that is a pro that is a problem to you. It, you have landed yourself on in a problem when you cause chaos, let like, let's say noise. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like here in Kenya, people just record videos. I was watching a video someday of last year where people walikuwa melewa, alafu wanakuja ukoze drama, uko in danger. Like in, this, you, in Europe, US, and also in the Asian countries, that will be treated like noise pollution and you'll be charged for that. Mm-hmm. But here in Kenya, ni kama tumejionea movie, movie, free. Yeah, it is a free movie. Yeah. <laughs> We we thrive in drama. I will say so. We're living in a drama, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, also something I would like to mention. Um, yeah. the different is uh like care for people with disability. Yeah. American how American government have a way of uh, taking care of these people. Mm. Well, us back home, it's you and you are on your own with your kids, whether they have disabilities or no. Um. 
that is a huge difference for me to yeah. see like in America if you if you have or if you get a child with a disability from birth that that child belong to the government to the government yeah you know, back home we have seen kids being chained in the house yeah. because the parents have to go look for food yeah but as back here they're even treated equally they will go to school like any normal person when to come to buses like they they make their bus in a way even someone with a wheelchair can yeah. get into that bus and go wherever they want to go. They are given even opportunities to work, even if it is two hours, four hours, depending on kind of a disability that you have. Even yeah. if you have a, a certain percentage of a mental health, you're still given yeah. like an, an equal opportunity with a normal person like Tabby. And that is yeah. one thing, you know, they don't get stigmatized like we do back home. Um, yeah. And, you know, back home we have this mentality, if you have a child or if, if you happen to get a child with a disability, someone else will start accusing you, oh, you got bewitched, I don't know what happened, I don't know, you know. And uh, so here it's, it's different. If you happen to have a, to give birth to a child with disabilities and maybe those people need care or that kid need care, the government always find a way of, Let's say I have a, a child with a disability, and of course I need to work. The government need I need to, knows I need to work. I need to take care of myself too. So depending on the case at hand, uh, they may give me nurses, like 16 hours, I'm getting nurses who are being paid by the government, not me. No. And yeah. then the, next, the, next, the other eight hours, I can take care of that child. That means... I can go to work for eight hours, come yeah. back home, relax for eight hours, and then the eight hours I will be able to take care of the kid. Okay. And yeah. look at it, I'm like, American government is smart because they know if yeah. I don't take care of myself, there is no way I'm going to be able to take care of that child. That's why they help parents. Or we also have parents who choose, I will stay home, take care of my kid, and the government pays you for that. So initially, you stay home, they pay you because even if they don't pay you, they would have paid a nurse. But a nurse, also, yeah. I have said it depends on the case. If they feel like, you know, we have those serious and acute, like, you know, cases, they feel you cannot be with this child for 24 hours. You will go crazy. Yeah. So if yeah. they feel like this is something you can do, yeah, they will be like, mm -hmm. okay, we pay you, you take care of your kid, which is fine, you know. Which is fine, yeah. Home, yeah. We don't have those options. We, we see people we on social media asking and begging for diapers. Well, as if you mm -hmm. have a child with disability, the government will provide for that until that person grow old yeah. and die. Those people belong to the government. So again, those are the things that we don't get home. And it's hard seeing like billions of money are getting lost every single day. And we do have people who need care from our government. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those are the things also that make a difference between yeah. and back home. So yeah. In case I will ever say I love America, just to know those are the things I love <laughs> about this country. Because being, being in Kenya and I'm not getting what I'm supposed to have, you know, and you don't have the capability of providing for yourself all that you need, you know, that that's can make you sad. And if, if I never left Kenya, yeah. I would not have known these things. But then yeah, when sure. I came, I'm like, oh my God, so kumbe serikariyetu na kubembaga marenge ivi, you know? So, yeah. so these things, you know, like when it's come to education, Kenyan government, they, every time there is election, they promise people, we're going to provide you with free education. Yeah. We get it? We don't. Yeah. We, don't. we don't. We don't. They promise healthcare, Jobs. good pay, good raise, nothing. They don't even equip our hospital. How many times, if right now you go to that, my uh, our neighborhood dispensary, most yeah. of the time when you go there, the only thing they will give you is paracetamol. They have no Panadol. lab. They, they don't even have a lab. Yeah. They have no emergency thing. They don't have doctors. Like you, you, you meet nurses there. And you yeah. have to describe how you feel. And then they will decide what you are ailing from. <laughs> there is no blood test. There is no scan. There is no ultrasound. Like you just go there and say, I have a headache. And they yeah. will think you have yeah. malaria. And they will administer you, you know, some drugs and you don't even know. And then you can yeah. be so kumbe, I even have a tumor. <laughs> and uh, another thing, th another thing. Mm. Here in Kenya, there's something people in Kenya I I I, I wouldn't say it is ignorance, 
we don't know our rights. We don't know our rights. No, we do. We, we do, but they are not being deployed. Yeah, because you're stuck in Kenya, kama una pesa. Yeah, Money yeah. talks in Kenya. Money talks. I know my rights. When I'm in Kenya, I yeah. know my rights. But try tell a Kenyan cop you know your rights. Just try yeah. tell them you know your rights. And 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 unless unless you make a video and make it go viral, you know then number one, cool when down. you to tell them you know you are right, they even find other mistakes to charge you on something yeah. that you do not even do. So people know they are right, but we don't have a voice simply because okay. the rule and the laws are not followed in Kenya. And the problem, the problem with our country, the rules start, I mean, the, all these problems start from the judiciary. If our judiciary, the arm that is should be protecting yeah. us, yeah. not us, then it's against the people. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you, Marie, I was, if I, I, if I come to person. Kenya and I happen to have a case, a court yeah. case in Kenya, I'm not going to deal with it. You leave it, so you I'm, let it go. Let me go back to America and just forget about it. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to go back and forth. First of all, yeah. I will lose so much money trying to bribe yeah. cops because they will tell, oh, the file was lost. I don't know what. <laughs> you, they start asking you for money. The judge will, will ask you for money so justice can be served. Yeah. So initially, you, you get emotional torture. Financial yeah. is gone. You're not even happy. Plus, the time wasted. No, yeah. I don't want. No, thank you. I will ah. say no, thank you. That is when I will say I want to go back. I, I, I don't know if you saw this on the papers today, mm -hmm. even if it is on circulate, circulating on social media. There are two university students from Egerton mm -hmm. who have sued the government, not the government, the university and the government, for promising them to get a job immediately they get out of campus. Mm -hmm. The way the 2017 government said, will create 1.2 million jobs for our youth. Now, <laughs> these guys have said, we've studied here in Kenya, in this Yigaton University for four years. We've mm -hmm. gone there for three years. We've not found a job. Yet we spend our money for, for studying in the university. We are saying to the government, give us 2.2 million. But do you know that case will, ne that case will never go anywhere? Nah. No. No. <laughs> We know the cases that go through and the one that does not go through. You see, but, like the bills that, um, who is this guy that was trying to pass? And I was so much supporting it. Punguza Mzigo bill. Uh, I was so much called, supporting that bill yeah. because, like, at least the court. Will, will breathe. Yeah. Where it's did it the And then the following day, they lose their own salary. They yeah. said there is no money to Punguza Mzigo bill, but the following <laughs> but day, they, they gave themselves, was it sitting allowance or what was it? They yeah, raised so the allowance. Yeah, right. they have nothing for Kenya. Look at BBI thing. They had so much money to print those BBI thing in the yeah. midst of pandemic. Yeah. Well, that's so many people lost their job and didn't, didn't even have something to eat. In fact, majority Kenyans were being helped by, I mean, uh, well-wishers. Yeah. And like the sana ku print makaratasi za BBI. Like we don't even prioritize. Yeah. At that time, they, they, they were supposed to close anything to do with BBI, anything to do with campaign, completely closed. They take yeah. care of their own, but they don't. Or they, they yes. don't. They don't, yeah. They don't. So so what I've learned about the US is I tend to know that you people have there is something called equality and equity. Oh yeah. In the US. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Apparently, here in Kenya, we only have equity, where yeah. we say, no, equity whereby we say to Mwakea to kona pesa flani, but sasa, equality ni mwenye atafikia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mwenye atafikia sasa, wenge angana hadi ufikie. But sasa, before ufikie, huko kuna system, you love to pass through a certain system. Lazimo uongane ndi ufikie hiyo resource. But in and US, you've got the equity and equality. Me, I think greedy has caused us a lot of suffering, mm -hmm. a lot of problems that we go through in Kenya. Because it's like Kenya, it's man for himself and God for us all. Yeah. If you get to that position, all you want is to steal, 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 yeah. and preserve for your family, and yeah. forget those people who voted for you, or those people yeah. even gave you that job, because you never gave yourself that 
MP, MP it is the people. People, had, people gave you a job. Yeah. But the moment you get there, you want nothing to do with them. All yeah. you want is to steal for your own people. And I was yeah. like, me, you know me, I thought when COVID came, like Kenyans will learn. Because when COVID came, nobody was talking. <laughs> this piece of viewers and governors, they were safe somewhere, yeah. eating whatever eating. they needed, right? Yeah. Nobody was talking. And now they are out there asking you guys to vote for them. I think Kenyans will be stupid to vote for the people who never stood with us. Nah, you're doing it. You guys are doing it. I'm seeing it and I'm like, I'm do not, I don't even want to talk about politics in Kenya. This time, <laughs> I am so quiet. I am and like, I'm, I'm I'm just watching you guys mkijikaranga tena na mafuta. <laughs> and there are any tukujikaranga. <laughs> and uh, are you going to vote? Me? Yes. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry, but not this time. Unless I'm no. less him to Mungine Asimame, apart yeah. from the two horses, and I am sorry, I don't want Kukuyu yeah. Asimame, uh, Akale, and Kisumu, no, because those people have been there. Honestly, they have been there. Yeah. What, else do they, what else do they want in the Wafanya Kanzi all those years? They have had deputies position, ministerial position, ministerial position. They never yeah. did anything. What, what is this so special that they go right now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I would, if, if let's say someone like Mother Karua, yeah. if she for presidency, I can I vote for her. Someone like yeah. a, yeah. a the Kibwana, those are the people I can vote in. But these two horses, um, that's why I'm saying, Zikarange, Nituna, Maftayen, you're going to try the same thing. Do, I, I do you want know, people, and, uh, and let me tell you, if there is something, um, and look at those people who are the, in this country and be like, oh, Sikuji, America, Sijuini, those people will sit here until they get their own citizenship. Why? When I do a Kirudu home, Kumane. Akona mm. country ingine ya kupotelea. Because ask them, Mbona, why are you telling me not to come to America and you are in America? Yeah. Most of them, they wait, at, they wait until they get that citizenship. Yeah. But when they come home and let's say there is crisis, ama maisha ikue mbaya, they go back to America. They go back. Well, you know, the advantage of having a, an American passport or becoming an American citizen, yeah. Yeah. you can settle anywhere you want in the world and nobody will ask you a question. You are good to go. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Mambo ya yake na pangu. Mimi nilisema pangu, nitaungia pangu. Ningumu. Unless change ikuje mingi sana. Because there are the things that I hate to, to, to see. And as long as you take care of my whole community care, my whole family care, I will be sad to see them struggling. Because ya vitu zenye, gava inakosa kuafanya. Eh, na mimi niko in a fallen in a fallen land mm. na a fallen government is doing it for me <laughs> the things that i should be getting from my own country i'm get, not getting them but nikuwa kwa nchi nyingine ninazipata and then you want to tell me ah yeah. hapa na acha nikae hapa it is like that story is like you are dating okay you are dating somebody but mm -hmm. another boyfriend is performing the role of this <laughs> boyfriend you are dating <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for Kenyans who wants to know, my favorite, I wish he could vie for this seat. My mm -hmm. candidate is one guy, not Alfred Mutua. Alfred Mutua is a good guy too. Even Kivuza yeah. Kibwana has done a yeah. lot of good, and that's why I always question, ask Kenyans questions. Mm -hmm. Like, you want to vote this person, mm -hmm. ask them, okay, what is this that Kivuza Kibwana? Has, has been able to do a lot for his own county. Yeah. And your governor is not doing nothing. And, you and, nothing. Doing it, and they are being given the same amount of money. Money, yeah. Hold them accountable. Ask, yeah. uh, give them an example. Akina Fred yeah. Mutua, they had done a lot of work with yeah. the same yeah. money. Governor yeah. Wakwenyu anapewa. Governor Wakwenyu yeah. pesa yake inaenda wa. Pesa yenyu inaenda wa. Inaenda wa. Mfuko. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I, I watch the documentaries a lot, and especially mm. the Baringo, yeah, Baringo, um, so Chukana, Pokot, 
those places they don't even have water me 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 i um, i asked myself do these people even have mp like i was watching the one like is it baringo when you watu wanaumwa na poison a snake a lot and it's yeah. baringo yeah yeah they don't have those anti venom they don't have fridge kuza kuweka dawa sijui daktari mwenye anaweza fanya hiyo ni nini moja i'm like in 21st century century we know this is a this, this people are battling snake bite mm. the government cannot afford a fridge to set in a certain hospital and not even in a certain hospital all those dispensaries will be having you know fridges and anti venom and have doctors who are qualified to deal with the job to deal with them should we be having people the three people die every single day because of snake bite like why yeah now those are the things like i, I tend to wonder do these people have governors do they have mp do they have women left do they even have yeah. mca why did we create all this position to pay people money doing nothing nothing yeah that's why i'm saying here we don't prioritize and when someone else stand up and call us name we start complaining i'm like yeah we don't think why would we give people so much job and well as we need this money you know to put this money together yeah. you know and set up a dispensary kama dispensary ni stima hayu haina kama hakuna stima kwa nini mnachagua mca sio pesa ya yeye iweke stima yeah why pay someone uh, yeah yeah sure and and to make it worse the the, the money that we pay these people is our tax yeah is i guess that's it you guys are the one who are i hiring these people you hire yeah. them yeah but to pata kwa barabara kiburi <laughs> kiburi mingi <laughs> and then you will see them but uh, this is who we are and i'm sorry mm-hmm. to say we i think we forget so easily cuz when they come back they give you less or what the 100 coffee ya 100 to 100. 100 you forget kila kitu all even if you look because I, I i'm very active on facebook i follow post a lot i'm seeing people saying oh if so and so uh, he want this position uh, if he's not giving us money we're not giving him votes so mm-hmm. i'm like so you would say are selling your own rights that person will come will give you two dollars yeah 200 shillings for kenyans shillings uh-huh. you sell your vote and then you will cry for the next five years five years like 200 it's not even like right now i'm on a post two liters of cooking oil is seven something it is 850 not seven 850 uh, yeah and then you umetagua mtu jo amekupa 200 you know i remember na natembea saying he's not gonna give people money and i yeah. saw people complain i'm like now kenyans we are the, <laughs> not from this readers we are the problem we're saying oh if he's not gonna give us anything we're not gonna vote for him i'm okay. like So you want that 200 is it what you're going to eat for the next 5 years and five you know mwalimu they will take mm. okay you want them to give you they will mm. go get loans come mm. and give you that 200 shillings and then the next 5 years what are they going to be doing they'll they will be paying their loans stealing yeah and pay their loans yeah and then you will be there saying no hakuna kitu amefanya you demanded <laughs> you demanded to be corrupt you demanded, yeah, you demanded. Your own votes and your own rights now you are paying for it you are paying for it and yeah. i wish i wish i was i was in uh, transoya county and atembea kula binabing my vote right mm-hmm. and the father of yangu vizuri i was even asking why why can't you atembea go straight to a uh, presidential president mpe mm-hmm. kura yeah because i i he's a tough guy and i, I have seen an a semana an attender you know he's not yeah, just yeah. Talking. and i love the fact that when he said uh, i don't know which uh, county he was and he said msana akipata mimba huyo hiyo mimba ni a chief huyo mimba ni a chief until the dna is performed and they yeah. get to the father now the father is forced to take care of those the, the baby I'm like yeah. that is the way to go that is how we do it here in America like yeah. every child has a father but in Kenya we don't do it and that's why even poverty inaendelea yeah. cuz kama wewe ni jamaa unajua huyu atapata ball huyu atapata ball you are free yeah. but yeah. when natembea said mtoto akipata msichana akipata mimba kwa hiki jiji yeah, yeah, it's under it cuz yeah. he was question in the tips Yeah. If you see kijana na msichana you are supposed to tell that kijana you know what stay away from this young girl. Yeah, yeah sure. 
Mm -hmm. He was really trying to protect them. And I was like, oh, my God, this is kind of a man we want. We want like 10 of them in Kenya. When mm -hmm. he, he said, and he was sort of, he said, mtoto mstana akipata mimba kwa hiki jiji. Chief, uyo mtoto ni wako, until ila siku DNA itafanita. Yeah. And I'm like, that's the way to go. Mwalimu, to yeah. stop, I think we're going to come back next Monday oh, to Mwalimu. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Wezi, sir. We have done even more than what... Uh, 40 minutes. I yeah. wanted us to, we have gone for like an hour and 10 minutes, and I only wanted us to go for like 40 minutes. But it's yeah. fine. It's, it's a lot. The difference between Kenya and America is so broad. And in so, case you have a question or anything that you will you would like us to talk about, please, yeah. uh, to Andikia, let us know. We will come yeah. here. In case you have something you want to say or you want to talk to me or you want to me to invite you to my youtube channel inbox me you are free yeah. to talk you're free to share with us remember we're here to give people hope to encourage and to empower them so if you feel like you have a story that can change somebody's life so yeah. feel free to reach out to me and uh, yeah we can bring you right here so marimu let's talk uh yeah. behind uh cameras and let me know if you'll be available on monday or whatever day maybe sunday yes, well, yes, and well. then we will continue from there yeah. and again thank you so much for creating my youtube channel again thank guys please continue subscribing supporting share and like thank you like so much. Yeah. until next time goodbye bye, guys bye -bye.